I've been meaning to do this video for a while. It was something I learned during my MS, uh, my PhD from a great South African geophysicist called Edgar Stettler. And I can't honestly tell you if I've done it right because I can't remember which grids he told me to use. But on the right hand side here, what this is, is a ternary diagram or ternary image using magnetic data, but a whole bunch of different filters. So you um, using the analytic signal, the tilt derivative and the vertical derivative and you're assigning them different colors and you're overlaying them. That, excuse me, ternary images or diagrams are usually associated with remote sensing and like potassium, thorium um, data. So it's using that method but using magnetic data. And so you can see it gives a very unusual image. It's just pinks and blues. In the middle here I've got the vertical derivative and on the left I've got the original RTP data. And so you can see it just helps draw out the outlines of these sills. So let me zoom in. So we're in the Karoo Basin here and there's a whole bunch of different um, sills at multiple different levels. It's an interconnected mess really. And so it's maybe not so easy to see when you zoom in. I mean here's the outline maybe two cells joined together or one cell um, and you would see it here on the vertical derivative and here on the RTP but if you zoom out it really becomes easier to see the outlines of these cells and you can see it down here. Um, so how did I get to this image? So I first took this RTP image and did the three filters or got the three filters and I did that using this mag map um, menu if it doesn't show up at the top, so it's Magma Menu, you've got to go to Settings and Manage Menus. And it's mine is under Extensions. You can see if you scroll down here to Extensions, 2D Filtering, Mag Map. I, I'm sure before it used to be under Geophysics, but I could be completely wrong. So I found it now under Mag Map. You click OK and it comes up. And the first thing we're going to do is Vertical Derivative. So we click on this first option, Mag Map One Step Filtering. Input grid is my, you can see here's my RTP grid, reduced to pole. If you haven't created an RTP grid, you can do it in the same function here. So you would put in your grid that's not RTP, and then your output grid would be an RTP grid, and you would go filter, and you've got to choose from your list here, and you've got to go reduce to magnetic pole. You've got to know the date your survey is connected, and that will calculate the inclination and declination of the magnetic field at the time and you can just leave this uh, amplitude correction blank and then I think it uses a default. So that's how you calculate your RTP. Once you've got that, you would then come here and calculate the derivative of the RTP. You can do it at the same time. I like to break it up into separate steps. I've got the different grids to look at. So I'm now doing the vertical derivative and I click OK. So you can see at the end here, I've kept the same file name and just add VD at the end. So I, that's how I label my files. I keep them all the same and at the end I just add the things I've done differently to it. So it's easier to track um, like what is an older grid and a newer grid. The, the newer grids have more things added onto the edge and, the end, and more words added onto the end because of the processes I've applied to the grid. Okay, and I'll click OK. And this name of control file, I know I've done a video on this before, I think when I first spoke about mag map, pro, mag map processing, I thought you needed to have a con file, because if you don't put anything here, you get an error from Geosoft. There is actually a way to create a con file, and now I'm going to hopefully remember it. Um, if not, just email me. Literally, just take a text file, leave it bla blank, and physically change the extension to, to .com. So literally you would go here, um, text, so uh, go to Notepad, go File, Save As, on your desktop, call this ConFile. You can see it's going to keep the text extension, will come and change it. You click Save. I'm now going to go to my desktop find that con file and I'm going to physically change it to .con, click enter, it will moan at you that you're making it unstable, it's fine, click yes. And then you would navigate here to where you've just created this con file. It's literally just a file that's going to write information in, so you do have to have something. And you click OK and it will create this vertical derivative. I've done it already, so I'm just going to click cancel. Uh, 
Um, and so this is what my vertical de derivative looks like here. To do the analytic signal, I go down here to analytic signal. Again, I to take my RTP grid. You, um, I use the same name for my output grid. I just add AS on the end, which is analytic signal. I use FFT. I honestly can tell you I, I haven't <laughs> investigated the difference. And I click OK, and my analytic signal grid comes up. Um, let me actually do it because mine was written over. Um, so I can't show you it, so let me do it again. Okay, so here's my analytic signal. So you're seeing the edges of the bodies very nicely. Vertical derivative obviously is bringing out the detail of the shallow features. And then lastly, you're going to go down here under mag map to tilt derivative. Your input file is going to be your RTP grid. Output is going to be, um, I use the same name, and then I add TDR for tilt derivative. It also gives you the horizontal tilt derivative. So I just add that little bit onto the end and I click OK and we'll see what it looks like now. I'm going to overwrite my files. Okay, the horizontal one always looks, it picks up the noise, a hang of a lot more. Um, it kind of looks like spaghetti. Um, you can see this is the detail we've seen inside the sills. Um, just the plain tilt derivative over here. Um, Again, you're picking up details inside the sills. Here's a sill. This is the one we were looking at. This is the edges of it. And this is texture inside or could just be noise. Okay, so you've created those three, the tilt derivative, the analytic signal, and the vertical derivative files. Now, how do you create this ternary image? You go grid and image. You go down to display on map. You go ternary image. Color model, I leave it as CMY. You can play around. Maybe I need to play around. <laughs> um, I left it as histogram equalized. So cyan and red grid is going to be my analytic signal. Green magenta grid is going to be my tilt derivative. Blue yellow is going to be vertical derivative. So it's analytic signal, tilt derivative, vertical derivative. You can swap these around. You'll just notice that the, ch the colors change. Obviously, choose the one that best gives you an image for your study area. And then we're actually going to shade the grid using the vertical derivative. Again, you can play around with the tilt derivative analytic signal. I prefer the tilt derivative. And then you're going to click New Map, and that's what it created over here. And so, like I said before, you're just seeing these really nice outlines of these larger cells. You can also put in a... Down here is my legend. Um, it's not a very useful legend at the moment because I've just left. You can see I've got very weird file names. But the nice thing here, let me make this bigger and give some space. Um, I'm going to my map manager on the left hand side here and I'm clicking on legend so I can edit it. And then I could come here and double click on, on this top part and I'm going to write analytic signal. Okay, and you can do the same for all of them. Just so that you've got a legend that makes sense. Tilt derivative. So you can see the pinks were the tilt derivatives. Blue was analytic signal. And the yellow was the vertical derivative. Okay. And yeah, it's just a cool um, method for picking up these outlines of these cells.